Give it up for Charles. The title of my poem is Girl in My Dreams. And my stage name is M Squared. Born a twin in the heart of Zambia, my heart beating in unison with that of another, this human being I'm so close to that we even share a mother. That's how my life started. But today, today that's not it. Because if I tell you the story of my life, we all know it will just go in one direction. So this, this is not the story of my life. This, this is the story of my wife who was born beautiful beyond all reasonable reasons. Whether the weather, whether she comes now or later, she's seasoned for all seasons. She's not a sinner nor a saint. You can see her but can smell her fragrance. It's her scent that draws many to her, artistically making disciples of men. And I was told she, does, she, and I was told she doesn't accept phone, and I was told she doesn't accept proposals with a single phone call. So I keep going around these circles all week, hoping when I march around you seven times, you'll fall for me like the walls of Jericho. She is the perfect girl to dream about, but she's not the girl of my dreams. Her story is second to nine. Every time she tries to tell it, it ends in screams. It all started when she became an orphan and moved in with the uncle. Let's call him Johnny. Uncle Johnny who instead of raising the niece, he kept telling her things like how sexy he thought she was. Not knowing those things were scaring her soul. Those things were leaving her souls, were leaving her soul torn. Telling her things like, if you get on my right side, you won't be left back. I'll teach you your positions. In bed, I can be a doctor. I can be a soldier, I can be a preacher. And even though Johnny was a Christian behind closed doors, we all know Johnny sins. <laughs> Trying to be G, he kept pulling her strings and forcing her to dance to his tune until all the tricks in her arsenal were finished and every short shot on her was now going in. This once unbeaten girl was now defenseless. In a quest to survive, she left home and went for the streets. But even her, even them, didn't have much to offer. She joined the hookers just so she can put something on the table and leave something for a coffer. She's now dancing the pose, because life has stripped her off her dignity. Resorting to killing herself, because she's tired of being seen naked even when she's fully dressed. She says it's the pain, the torture within, that makes you think suicide is not a sin. She tells me in the darkness there's joy, and boy, we can do anything in the dark. Now I'm beginning to contemplate thoughts that weren't supposed to cross my mind in the first place. Her words, leaving many breathless like COVID in its face face. And I know everybody eyes this. She's in every man's eyes, let us call her Iris. Everybody takes her out to comfy places when all she wants is to be comfortable in her own skin. So she makes up her face, so she makes up the face and fakes the smile so nobody knows her skin. But the skin she feels like uh, And she only appears in my dreams cause she knows what every other guy wants is to sleep with a girl like her. The red on her body isn't lipstick. It's blood showing that she's been beaten and bruised. Her bleeding heart screaming, stop. I've been beaten and abused. So this, this is not the story of my life. This is the story of my wife who was born beautiful inside out. But after being raped several times, her soul was torn. Because of these monsters, this beautiful girlfriend is now beautifully ugly.